Hey, what's up guys? Hope we're doing well. Appreciate you checking out the video. So I have a lot to update you guys on the truck. There's a ton of new mods that I realized I haven't done um, videos on. So rather than do a bunch of separate videos on a bunch of different mods, I'm just going to do one general update video. A ton of stuff has changed to this thing. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you're probably already aware of all those changes. Um, Instagram is obviously a lot simpler um, thing, you know, just to like throw up an Instagram story or something. Um, just to share general updates like as they happen. But YouTube obviously takes a little bit longer, um, kind of more of a production sort of deal. But yeah, I'm going to take a few minutes. Um, well, I don't know. There's a lot of mods, so I don't know how long this video will be. But there's a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of cool stuff that I haven't showed you guys really in depth on the on the uh, channel yet. So, um, yeah, there's stuff under the hood. There's stuff inside. There's new wheels. There's new stuff on the rear. There's new goodies. There's new tools. Um, and then new stuff to the front end, new lights, new taillights. Um so we'll go through all that stuff and i will say that in late august maybe early september something like that this is going to change and be like basically my tacoma 4.0 <laughs> i mean this thing has had a billion changes but um the exciting thing coming in um when i say late august early september is spoiler kind of it's going to be suspension related it's going to be big. It's going to be um, probably one of the first trucks to ever run some of these parts. Well, it is definitely going to be the first truck running some of these new parts. Um, going to be long, going to be wide, going to be relocated, going to be insane travel, insane clearance. So, um, yeah, I am freaking amped for the next few months. So I will shut up now because you came to this video to see truck parts, not me talk about um, future plans. But anyway, first thing, um, if you can't really tell, I guess, from the front end, a lot has changed, so headlights. See right there, let's try it again. So these are actually factory Toyota headlights from like the new, I think they're 2020 and up headlights. Um, I got these from our backwoods shop Tacoma. Um, we upgraded those to some Alpha Rex. But I got these, got a little harness, made it work, and this thing looks so good. I, I, I was like really impressed how good it looks. Um, it's got like that amber DRL, um, pretty freaking cool. And I swapped my TRD Pro grill for the newer Toyota grill because, I don't know, everyone and their mom has a TRD Pro grill. Definitely love the TRD Pro Grill. I'm not hating on it at all. I think it looks incredible, but I just wanted to be different and uh, change it up a little bit. So I did. Um, I guess while we're at the front, man, I'm I'm literally finding so many more mods. I forgot I was even going to talk about. While we're at the front, I'll show you what's under the hood first. Um, and this is going to be really awkward one-handed. So let me give me a second. All right, first thing before going under the hood. I had a solar panel on here from the same company and everything, but that thing was delaminating. It was absolutely atrocious looking, like the whole top layer was peeling off. Um, I have a separate video on that, it's from Linsun. But they sent me out a new panel and it's actually redesigned. I don't know if you can tell, but it's a lot slimmer. Um, and this thing I don't think is gonna have that same issue I had, so it looks, it looks really good up there. I think it's like an 80 something watt panel, um, so. That's new, I guess, I mean, I've had one obviously, but oh my gosh, I can't do this one handed, hold on. Alrighty, so what you're looking at right here, I'm kind of a beta tester thing for this, but um, it's been working amazing so far, and um, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on this. This is a dual purpose Pro Guide lithium battery. Um, I believe it's a 100 amp hour battery, so, this is a direct replacement for your starter battery and it acts as a dual battery. So like, let me say that again, this replaces your start battery, but you get a dual battery performance out of it. So um, I have hardwired my fridge in the back and I have this thing running um, 24 seven on my fridge all the time. And I've left it for days and it is still started. Um, it has its own, 
battery management system in it. You press that little button right there and it'll tell you full, half, low or whatever. Um, I have a smart shunt on here right now just to monitor stuff um, on my app. I can see what like the voltage and all that, and what's going on when I put different power on, like the load and everything. Um, because this is kind of a proto, the terminals are switched. So, I mean, this is kind of like for a marine application, but the terminals are switched. So we had to do some like lead extensions and stuff. So it looks a little bit, um, I don't know, unnecessary, I guess, uh, as far as cables. But this thing's been insane. Um, this thing weighs, I think, 27 pounds. So if you know anything about Toyotas and you wheel kind of hard, these battery trays from the factory, it's just thin sheet metal. It totally cracks and um, just from regular battery weight. Um, so I'm not gonna have that issue. This thing has been working, like I said, amazing. All you have to do is barely file the, um, the plastic battery tray down there to make it sit and it fits perfect. So again, I'll do a full video on this as I test it, but I'm not going to say it's the best thing or the worst thing right now because I want to test it. Um, you guys have probably seen this. I don't know. I cleaned a bunch of wires up. I have these terminals and I labeled everything. Um, I don't know, it looks messy, but it's actually really organized. So that's that, this is amazing. Um, again, you don't have to have like a whole battery tray set up over there. You don't have to run wires and extend stuff and it's just way cooler. So hopefully that keeps rocking and rolling for me. Um, let's see, up front, I'm trying to think if I have anything else done up here. I don't think so. Um, some more fab tie rod sleeves. I guess these are new all pro um, spindle gussets. Um, all this is the same. Oh, my C4 liners, but I made a separate video on that. My fender liners. If you haven't watched that video, check it out. These things are sweet. Um, all right. Next order of business is the wheels. So these are true beadlocks. Um, I got rid of my methods and I had methods on here at a zero offset with um, a one inch spacer from KSP. It's not a, uh, it's not the spider tracks one, two, five. It's a one inch. Cause I didn't want that much poke, but basically I was able to ditch the spacer and get this, which is a negative 25. So I'm at the exact same offset basically with when the math kind of jives out. So, um, yeah, this is a negative 25, 16 inch beadlock. So if you know anything about beadlocks, and you've done your wheel shopping there's like no such thing as a 16 inch beadlock like at least for toyotas like anywhere so i love a 16 and i love the two or sorry the 315 75 16 tire size i think that is just freaking money you get massive sidewall uh, running a 16 i mean this thing is freaking beefy like it, it almost looks like a 37 um so yeah new wheels these definitely are heavier than my methods like i don't know i think they're like maybe 30 pounds where my methods were 18 or so i don't know but either way i love these um the other thing i've done let's see if i can show you better uh, right here the other thing is i have apex valve stems these are these are freaking nuts so when you air down and these are not gimmicky at all okay so when you air down i'm dead serious six seconds or so i'm i'm done so all you do is you'll unscrew this cap the other thing that sucks about these wheels though is like dude i had to modify my air chuck to fill up and i mean look how tight it is in there it's obviously not here right here would be ideal but it's way in the in the wheel um so you undo this and it takes the valve cap off and then this little tab right here it says pull you pull it and basically it has four different holes in the valve core and it it uh when you do that it bypasses this like o-ring thing and it is so loud but i'm serious it takes like five or six seconds to be around like 10 or 12 psi it's it's stupid fast so that thing is rad i think they're about 120 bucks for four something like that um let's see what else i guess why am I breathing heavy? I'm like tired. Oh, on the back. Yeah, there's a lot going on here. That's new. So 
I made a, a Instagram reel on these. These are the Alpha Rex. I think they're the Lux taillights. Um, let's see if I can get kind of like a animation going on. There you go. So you can see it's sequential. So there's like a startup sequence and everything. It looks really, really good. Um, they're kind of blacked out. So that turned out awesome. I love those. Um, I have some agency six handles on the side now because whenever I'd get to my max tracks, um, I literally was like stepping on here, stepping on the tire and like, there's just nothing to grab. So this just makes everything easy. Like I can just do that. Boom. Get to my stuff. All right. Yes. I'm out here barefoot. Get at me. Um, over here, it's actually some sweet stuff. Also, I wish I had some sliders that were out more because this is like so tucked in. So in here, Decked hooked me up with their new tool set. This is like seriously the Mac Daddy tool set. Um, I actually took the bags out of the main bag just for ease of use, but um, there's a bunch of different bags with different stuff. So this is like all electrical tools. This is like an air up tool, a um, bunch of random stuff, not aired up tool, a tire tool. Um, what else? Uh, just a bunch, seriously a bunch of stuff. And then a full tool roll kit here with like a dead blow and wrenches and a hammer and Allen and Torx and all kinds of stuff. So I am mega organized up here. My uh, tool roll that I kind of jimmied together was just losing, like missing parts and it got all rusty and it was just nasty. So um, I might show more of that later, like maybe another video because it's amazing. Actually, if I go here, this is the uh, bag it came in. So all those bags I showed you fit in this bag and you can carry the whole thing if you want, but I just kind of simplified it and took it all out. All right, we're gonna go to the back. There's a lot of newness here. Um, for one, the Agency 6 handle up there. What's up? Uh, this is brand new, like literally the other day. Uh, my buddy Mo turned me on to this just like he does with everything. I swear he makes me spend money because he buys cool stuff. Um, this is a Wolfbox 4K um, camera and dash camera and front camera. It's amazing. I'll show you when we get inside, but I routed it up here. It is mega clean. So I have a camera up there and then the factory one from um, the bumper that we make goes, goes right there. But so we'll show you the camera in a minute. Again, the agency six handle up there. This is a brand new product that we made and we finally released it. Uh, it's called Jerry's can. Um, if you haven't seen the promo video or the ad or whatever that I made on Backwoods, go check it out. It's hilarious. Um, basically, my character is Jerry, and this is my product, Jerry's can holder. So this thing is sick. It's universal, all aluminum. I won't really sales pitch you um, too much, but friction hinges here so it doesn't smack you in the leg. Um, like I said, all aluminum so it doesn't rust, weighs nothing, and you can sit in this thing. It's so strong. Um, you can fit a jerry, you can fit roto packs, you can fit two of each, you can, doesn't matter. You can fit just about every single can combination possible. So, and in addition to fitting the cans, you can fit stuff on the side. Um, this uh, power tank five pound propane mount uh, mounts on here without any drilling at all. It's just literally made for it, like it is perfect. Um, so that's cool to have here. I did have it in the inside of the camper, but it actually leaked on me and it got all nasty in there. So I put it out here. Um, you can also fit an agency six shovel. Uh, it mounts to here with these little slides. So the thing I guess that makes it possible. So these little slots we put in here, you can mount quick fists for shovels and axes. You know, you can put the them up there. Um, the other thing it, it fits is the Expedition Essentials propane mount. That one's a little bit bigger, but that fits here too. So this thing is awesome. They're like 325 bucks for free shipping, powder coat included, all that good stuff. So um, 
check those out if uh, you're interested. And then, honestly, don't even remember what's new back here, but I'm sure something's new. Um, open this thing. Oh, like I said, the hardwire kit. I have a lot of stuff out of here right now just because it's summer and I'm not really wheeling. But um, right back there is the Dometic hardwire kit. So that's what I said earlier is hardwired to my battery up front. So this thing's always running, except, of course, it's not running right now because I don't have anything in there because I drank all the contents. Um, Man, I feel like nothing has really changed. I have a Blue Ridge Overland bag that I keep for trash now. That's my trash bag instead of putting it on the tire. Um, nothing's new here. I mean, this is just all my camp stuff. Uh, I did put this cover back on. I, I used to have it off, but I put it back on just since now I'm running the fridge all the time. I can insulate it just that much better. Um, air system's the same. Um, so this axe, quick little story. Um, my best friend, Harry Holler, he has, he's kind of starting like an axe company. He's he actually lives a couple houses back there, but, um, he makes incredible axes and uh, he's starting to sell them. So there's one that he custom made for me with this freaking awesome handle and palm swell and uh, all that goodies, all those goodies. So uh, I think he has a website or he's working on one or something like that. So I'll put it in the description if you want to check it out, but I will eventually be doing a giveaway on one of his axes. So check it out. He makes awesome stuff. Um, down here, what's changed? Um, I don't know. I, you guys have probably seen my, I already put a video out on my uh, dual exhaust. That's the very first company making a true dual exhaust and it sounds sick. I'm super happy with it. It, um, when they say it doesn't drone, it seriously doesn't drone whatsoever. Um, I have some new, um, ABS guards from SDHQ front and rear, um, extended brake lines because I need them because I'm I, I got some pretty big droop going on and I'm especially going to need them when I get the new new stuff on um new brake drums that's just maintenance stuff oh gosh what else um anything over here uh negative no it's all the same um there's a lot more inside of course it's locked All right, anything in the back? Nothing new except my kid's car seat. Um, all right, let me just go to the other side real quick. Let me get in here. Yeah, there's a couple new goodies that are like brand new. What's up? That's gonna annoy the crap out of me. I'm just gonna turn it on so it doesn't reflect. Um, all right, this, of course, is gonna reflect. That's hilarious. Let me actually turn it on so you can see what's going on trd what's up all right there's the wolf box it's booting up and it's booted up so this is that 4k um camera i was talking about so if you look right here there's a camera on the front and it literally just kind of like has these rubber i don't even know what you call them rubber mounts i don't know basically just wraps around your camera and then you have a couple cords that I kind of stuffed up here and routed through the a pillar and um, all the way down here through this guy through here and you can hardwire this or you can do the cigarette lighter I bought both um, right now I'm just I just have it in the cigarette lighter right there there's, there's a uh, cigarette lighter it's plugged in so this kind of bugs me I'm like really OCD about wires and stuff. That's really annoying. I don't know. Um, so I got this real quick about this. Has your time. If you plug in the little GPS that comes with it, which I don't, but you can do that really easily. Um, it shows your speed, like your miles per hour, um, your, your direction, like where you're going, that kind of stuff. So you can swipe and this is my front camera, which I got to figure out why it's angled up so high, but you got that then you can do this and it's split and if you do this it's kind of like a fisheye so you can see i actually see my hood with the front camera with the rear 
have a much wider view. Swipe again, it inverts them. So this thing is amazing and it is very good at night. That's the other kicker that most people are wary about uh, when running these things. It's not too bright in your face and the camera operates pretty good in low light. So I'm, I'm stoked on it. Um, I'm trying to think anything else about it. I mean, oh, so this also is a, a dash cam. Um, my buddy Mo that I was telling you about who turned me on to this, he got like three wrecks on it and he's only had it for like maybe a month or so. Um, so that's, that's pretty cool. And, uh, it comes with a memory card and everything. What's up? That's funny. Um, so pretty, ra pretty rad. I love it a lot. And then the other new goodie I got is this, which it should automatically turn on, is this scan gauge. It's the scan gauge too. Um, I absolutely love this thing. The The main reason, 90% of the reason I bought it is to get this transmission fluid temperature um, on here, just so I know. So um, if you guys have been following along, you know I got a, a new off-grid camper trailer. And that camper trailer, um, obviously, you know, it's it's not like mega light. It, but it's also not super heavy. But anyway, towing in general, I wanted to know my trans temperatures. You know, I got a skid plate. I have 35s, I have a camper on this thing, and plus I'm gonna be pulling that trailer. So I wanna keep an eye on my trans uh, temp there. Um, you can also program this thing to do a bunch of different readings. All it does is plugs into your OBD port right here. It doesn't go to your battery, so the wiring is basically nothing. There's no wiring at all. Um, so yeah, obviously when your car's on, this turns on with it and it stays on. You can change the color from red, blue, green, whatever color you want. Um, and again, you get four different things you can monitor at once and see on the fly. Um, you can do like your intake um, temperature reading. You can do, uh, you can program a bunch of stuff. So this thing is like on the, the shelf of the, you know, advanced auto parts or something. They're readily available everywhere. This is, like I said again, Scan Gauge 2. They have a new one called the Scan Gauge 3, and that's kind of like a screen like this. And I just didn't want another screen up here. You know, it's already it's already kind of a lot anyway. So I want this to be nice and um, kind of hidden down here. So that's why I did the 2. Um, I wanted it to be a little bit more analog-ish compared to the 3. So... Um, yeah, that thing's sweet. That's also very new. I've had that for maybe a week right now. This is maybe a week as well. Um, what else new in here? Patches galore. You know, always getting new patches. Um, nothing in there. I feel like there's always, when I always edit these videos, there's always something I forgot. Um, I'm actually gonna end this clip and think for a minute before I finish because I, I swear there's more stuff. Alright, so I think for the first time ever I uh, didn't forget anything. Any updates, really. Um, oh, one, one thing I just wanted to say um, while we were kind of going over this thing. This is a chainsaw scabbard mount. Um, I also have a separate video on this. I'm just bringing it up again for those who haven't seen that video or are wondering what this is because I seriously people like ask all the time um, how to mount a chainsaw and when they see it they're like tell me more about it so this is from max tie down solutions it's all aluminum um, I made it you know I cut it out and made it fit on the swing out just perfectly by far the best chainsaw mount out um, I, I used to have another one and it broke and this thing's seriously bomb proof so love it um i did want to um share with y'all uh if you're not aware i do have a website um it's arcoffroad.com and i sell stickers i have barely any shirts left but i have a ton of stickers and stuff i think i have yeah i pulled some out in the truck i'll show you um i sell these obviously this is my own with the uh, youtube channel and grizzly gram i'm not gonna sell you guys <laughs> uh decals with my instagram that's dumb um but i sell these they're matte black and it says i believe it says gosh what does it say i think it says arc off road or, or uh toyota club dadgummit i'm butchering this 
I have one right here. Let me see what this says. Uh, sick, I brought it inside. Dude, I am sucking at this video. Let me go see real quick. All right, so we're inside MTV crib style. So these are the ones I sell. Arkansas Off-Road Toyota Club. So if you want one of these, go to my website. I also have a bunch of different stickers. Um, yeah, those aren't stickers. All right, so here are some of those stickers. Um, this rig is dialed because I do that all the time. Um, this is kind of a play off of the, the side decal there. If you want like a small version, got the OG Toyota logo in a holographic, um, finish. This is probably one of my favorites I made. Just going to send it. Arcoffroad.com. Um, also a lot of people, for some reason, when they see the website, they ask me where, um, or who designed them and I designed them. Um, that's what I do. I'm a, I'm a designer. Well, that's my background, graphic design. Um, so yeah, I made, I made a bunch, well, I made all of these, uh, logos. So check out the website if you want some slaps. Um, like I said, I'm running super low on shirts and I, I might not do any shirts. Oh, well, I'm so dumb. There is a shirt, this shirt, Cadence Off-Road, or gosh, Cadence Collection and Arc Off-Road. We did a collab. There's a design on the back too. Um, I'll put... A, uh, a thing on the screen right now. You can go to cadencecollection.com and buy our collab shirt. Um, Cadence is a super rad company. They are like cycling uh, apparel and lifestyle gear. So we teamed up and we made a sweet shirt. And you can buy that shirt exclusively on their website. So if you want to support me, support them, go do that. That shirt is super awesome. It's got awesome quality and detailing everywhere. And so um, I would check that out. If you want a sticker, go to my website and that's all I have to say about that. Enough marketing for you guys. Um, if you have any questions on the truck, let me know again, the best place to see updates all the time is going to be my Instagram. I'm trying to grow that social media platform a little bit more, um, for like short form content stuff. So check out my Instagram. I do a bunch of reels on there. Uh, my stories are really where I do a bunch of like truck updates, um, pretty often. So appreciate y'all watching. And like I said, if you have any questions about the truck, let me know. Um, also check out the rest of my videos on my channel. There's tons of videos in depth about all these different parts and stuff. So appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one.